Students in Niagara College's Culinary Tourism and Beverage Services Division got a crash course in the fast-paced world of food services recently, working together with their professors to prepare and serve a pop-up five-course meal for takeout. What we've done coming out of COVID is we've uh, taken a look at our uh, final few weeks for our senior culinary students and created as much of a real restaurant atmosphere as possible. So behind me is actually our regional Canadian cuisine course, which we've converted into a restaurant course. So they are actually doing restaurant service right now, calling orders, apps, main soups, desserts, uh, and creating an, a real pressurized environment for uh, service and to make sure that they all get that experience. This has resulted in the development of pop-ups and, and doing a lot of banquet types of servings. Yeah, the other part around service is what they're learning is less about the food and more about the service techniques, but there's all different types of service. So we've got takeout, we've got pop-up restaurants, we've got uh, stand-up receptions, we've got uh, lunches, dinners, we've got restaurant service, um, we've got banquets. So we want to create all different kinds of service because each of those things I just mentioned is a different setup, different organization, different communication. And so we really want them to learn the, the broader amount as possible. We asked Professor Scott Backler what was on the menu. Uh, we've got uh, two five-course menus that the students are preparing today. This is their capstone final program. So the first course they're going to be doing our greenhouse salad, which we're really proud of. Our greens are grown right here on the premises. They move into a seafood ravioli with lobster, scallops, and mussels. And then onto a strip loin steak for a main course that everybody loves. And a pecan tart with a vanilla custard. We also have a secondary menu, which is our vegetarian menu, salad to start again, uh, sweet potato soup, and then we go into a grown vegetarian chicken, and then finally their apple tatin. They're making this food, they, do they understand the recipes and the theory behind it and how it all fits together? Absolutely, so a lot of these elements they've either prepared before in first year, for the first four days there's no evaluation, it's all about learning those elements and then for the next five weeks, they, they work their way through different stations preparing these different dishes. Dollar, this uh, seems to be a really fast-paced environment. How have you reacted to this for the last couple of days? We have reacted very positively uh, because this is the pace we work uh, in an actual restaurant. Uh, so the, both the chefs and the school wanted us to work like that in this kitchen as well. Uh, so everybody in my class, and I can speak in behalf of everybody, that everybody is uh, very passionate and very knowledgeable now, after two years. So uh, they have reacted very positively. What's it like collaborating with your fellow students in this kitchen? Oh, I would say that's the uh, best part of this course, because as I'm on the mains today, uh, somebody will be on the next week. So I'm going to help the next team work on the mains. Uh, like today, somebody else helped me with the main course. So it's more st uh, student-driven course and program, uh, to be very honest. And uh, I'm reacting uh, pretty uh, nice because I like working with most of my classmates. We have been working together almost since the, since the first semester, since the very first day. Uh, so we make a really good team together. We feel that this particular setup that we're doing is really unique and we're still only in the beta phase. We're trying to really grow and develop it. So it becomes really our food service model, as we call it, is able to service not only just ourselves, but our community, uh, events we have at the college, and as well as we have our Feed the Community program that this food that, that we produce here also uh, helps those in need. Niagara College has a number of pop-up events planned for this December. They focus on international cafe and baked goods Sounds like a real treat. Visit NC Culinary Services Facebook page for more information.